This is a product that was designed specifically for the demands of cloud software. We're in no way, shape, or form trying to do what we did before. We're trying to do what comes next. Because we've built the world's first native cloud processor. It's very critical to pick the right design methodology, the right EDA tools, as well as designing our building blocks in a more modular fashion so that then we can pick and choose what we want, what the customers want, as well as then integrate specific IPs very quickly as we react to customer requirements. In founding the company, our real vision and our focus was on serving the cloud and edge market and the customers who serve those markets. If Ampere is making a piece of hardware, my job is to make sure that there's a piece of software that runs exceedingly well on that hardware in order to meet our customer demands. And we not only listen to our customers, but we are also driving software and solution to meet their needs. And part of this a collaboration is going out and talking to them, figuring out what's important to them, figuring out what workloads are the customers using that we can drive back that then will benefit Ampere running in their data centers and their solutions. You're working with some really sophisticated, really smart customers. And that, that intellectual ability of kind of looking at a problem and then jointly being able to look at how you go from these two unique perspectives to kind of bringing one solution together. Both sides should feel that we've built something together that uniquely addresses a problem. For cloud service providers, the most important piece is to be able to deliver guaranteed performance, scalable performance within a certain power envelope. Clearly, we want to deliver the highest performing part at the earliest cadence, at the lowest cost point. Technology doesn't happen by itself. People make technology. I believe Ampere has the set of people who have the track record for forming the technology industry as it exists today. We're all pretty like-minded. I think we've all been in the industry long enough to understand that there is always something that comes next. And if we're the ones that have an idea of what it could be, and we can, we can execute it, that's a pretty big deal. We get to invent the future. <laughs>